Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining up here in GTA 5. I'm RJ. You can call me Trippy. Yesterday, we talked about a new appearance by Omega and a brand new mystery that has been found inside of the nightclub. Well, it turns out that those mysteries might be connected. I'll explain that to you in this episode. There's also some brand new content that Rockstar has just added into the game. So I have a huge update for you guys. Now, if you've not watched yesterday's episode, I do recommend you check that out first. There were some pretty big nuggets including Trevor's special ability finally being added into GTA Online. So if you did not know about that, definitely go check out that video first. I'll have a link in the description. I will have a brand new GTA 5 mystery episode for you guys every day this week. So hit the notification button. That'll let you know whenever the videos go up. We also have live investigations, so you do not want to miss them. So as far as the new mystery is concerned, in the nightclub you can find these handprints. So what if I told you that those are Omega's handprints? Yes, it is true. I'll show you guys how that is possible. Much love. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let's get into the episode, guys. Yesterday, I asked you if a new DJ would be added into the game today, and the correct answer was yes. Tale of Us is now in GTA Online. It says GTA Online After Hours Tale of Us Residency and Los Santos Underground Radio now available. So that means two new radio stations. That's always a huge plus when they add new music into the game, especially in this case where it's exclusive new music that the Tale of Us is debuting in the game itself. So that's pretty crazy. It says as your new nightclub sends shockwaves through the San Andreas party scene, English Dave is busy recruiting the best new talent to ensure your club's reputation is top notch. Of course, they're telling us that the Tale of Us, Italy's finest purveyors of lush and melodic techno, that sounds pretty cool, is now available. In a major coup for the Los Santos nightlife scene, Tale of Us is debuting new exclusive music. That is awesome, man. Huge shout out to Rockstar for pulling that off. So we have the LSUR, the Los Santos Underground Radio. I'll have to give that a listen. It kind of seems like something that they might have some mysterious vibes, especially with all the other alien hints in this DLC. Maybe there's something on that radio station. Unfortunately, it's copyrighted, so I really can't listen to it while live streaming or anything like that. Also available, the Enos Stafford and the Blimp, finally. Whether you're in the mood for the sublime or the ridiculous, this week's two new vehicles are just for you. The Enos Stafford is a four-door superiority complex on wheels, while the new Blimp is the slow-moving, lively, or I should say live-recovered, highly explosive nightclub advertisement of your wildest dreams. So we'll go check that out in a moment. But there you have it. The Enos Stafford looks baller status for sure. Let's take a look at the new vehicles. We'll first check out the Enos Stafford. So I believe that's going to be under Legendary. Nothing really too special, especially for mystery purposes. Uh, Stafford drivers have a reputation for plowing through more pedestrians. Yeah, you guys probably get the picture there. It looks all right. Definitely, like I said, looks baller status. Something I'd like to purchase if it wasn't over a million dollars. I have so many things I want to buy first. But let's look at the blimp. That's what everybody wants under Elitis. I have not looked at this yet. Part of the After Hours update. The blimp. Not really a fancy name or anything. So we got the Chapal, I think that's pronounced. E. Cola. Not sure why we represent E. Cola. I always thought of zombies with that. Burger Shot. That's pretty cool. All right. All right. That's a good one. Kind of reminds me of Big Smoke. Redwood, no thank you. Sprunk Extreme. All right, it's good to see all these different variants. Pisswasser, everybody's favorite. Jackal Racing. And then, of course, they have to have Omega as a blimp. Wow, guys. All right, we already know what we're buying. How much is it? 895000 That's not too bad. This may be the age of targeted Life Invader ads, but when it comes to large-scale public advertising, there is such a thing as a winning formula Get a huge balloon of highly flammable gas, put the name of your nightclub on the side, fly it low over the city, strike a match, and wait for the headlines to come to you. That's actually pretty genius. So does this mean that we can only have the name of our current nightclub as this option, or is Omega available to everybody? That just looks pretty cool with the bricks on a blimp. I've never seen that before, so we'll buy that soon, but that is crazy. Definitely one of the best things that they've added as a lot of this stuff is really not too unique from each other. Like, what's the difference between the Howard NX25 and the Alpha Z1? Seems the same to me, but in this case, we can now have Omega on the side of a blimp. It is perfect. So getting back to the mystery, like I told you, the handprints found in this hallway 
might be Omegas. Now, why is that possible? Let's look at Solomon's brand new music video. There he is, that's him, that is Omega. A couple things stand out to me about this cutscene. First of all, you have Mount Chiliad in the background. The mountain appears a few times throughout the music video, giving it clear Chiliad mystery vibes. But here, not only do you have the mountain, but you also have a member of the Altruist camp. Remember that the Altruist camp itself is on Mount Chiliad, so for some reason, Omega is attacking or acting hostile towards an Altruist. That's pretty interesting, definitely leading me towards the Chiliad mystery. Also, this is a new cutscene. I've not seen Omega anywhere else besides the two prior appearances, one being at that random mobile home and then the other time being at his house. So that's it. That's the only time we've seen Omega. And here he seems to be in front of Mount Chiliad. Very interesting. Now, another thing that I want to point out is the positioning of his arms. Notice how he stretches out his arms and he puts his hands in the same position that they would be on the nightclub wall. So basically, he's kind of pushing this guy into the wall and it transfers to the other side. Remember his line, I'll see you on the other side, brother. Well, it seems like he's pushing this guy, this altruous member, into the wall, kind of transporting him into the other side, or at least something is going to the other side. If you remember that line, it definitely seems to have some meaning in this one quick scene, guys. So I'm going to show it to you one more time, and then I'll meet you back in the club. Looking at that again, I really don't think he's transporting the guy or doing anything like that, but he's smashing the guy against the window, and it's very unusual that you can hear something as you walk up to the handprints. So listen closely, guys. Tell me if you hear anything. Did you hear that? That happens every time. You can do it in your game. As you walk up to the handprints, you can hear breaking glass. So does that have anything to do with the handprints themselves? So let me know what you think. Are these handprints the handprints of Omega? Considering you have the nightclub named Omega, we have a brand new music video by Solomon that has an Omega Easter egg in it. Most of the other clips are pretty famous scenes from the game and then new characters from the After Hours update, but it also includes some brand new footage of Omega. Now we have the handprints, the breaking glass, and for some reason, Omega acting hostile towards the altruist. I think there's something going on here, guys. I smell a pretty interesting mystery brewing. One last thing that I have to talk about in this episode, guys. People have been blowing me up about Luis. If you think about it, we have Gay Tony back. But where is Luis? Now, unfortunately, if you want my opinion, I do not think he's going to come back. Yeah, we have his picture but where's Nico? We do have Johnny Clevitz making a slight appearance. I mean, extremely brief. But Nico has not appeared, and I don't think that Luis will appear at all. Now, considering we still have some DJs left to make an appearance, maybe Luis comes as a surprise DJ. I think they can do more than just the four DJs that they promised us, or at least the four DJ groups, whatever you want to call them. Hopefully, we get some surprise guests, and Luis would be one of the best ones, but that is a genuine Easter egg. Luis is on Gay Tony's desk because he used to be his right-hand man, so it does make sense that he would make an appearance at some point, but my prediction is that we will not see Luis. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Surprisingly, many people have reached out to me saying that that is their favorite GTA protagonist. More than Tommy Versetti, Nico, CJ, they like Luis, and if you played through the Ballad of Gay Tony, you might agree because he was definitely a badass. If you're wondering how much it costs to hire the tale of us, let's find out. The resident DJ is currently Solomon, but to hire the tale of us, it will cost you $100,000. So I thought it was going to be more expensive, but I also thought that we would have a mission that we had to do to unlock the tale of us. So I'm a little bit confused. We're going to check this out live. Hopefully there's more to just hiring the tale of us than to do it on the computer. I guess we'll find out as we also unlock the damn Kiflom shirt. It's taken us forever. Stay tuned if you guys are watching this video right after it goes up. We will have a live stream soon trying to unlock the t-shirt. We're going to max out the popularity of our club, see if that works. And I also have something that we have to try out here in single player. What are you guys looking at? It's just a statue. Patricia, get out of here. Uh, what are you doing over here, buddy? Let's put him to the true test here. We'll try to put a sticky bomb right next to his feet. Don't move. You better not move. 
wait, wait a minute. You ruined it. Thanks again for joining up, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And watch out because I'll have another new one going up tomorrow. Stay tuned here at Trippy Commentaries, my friends. And as always, make sure to stay trippy, everybody.